When it comes to video game secrets, it's actually quite staggering how much effort video game developers will put into hiding gags, side missions, items, and sometimes entire storylines into their titles. However, things get even more impressive when it comes to those that actually uncover all of these piles of digital treasure, because the thought processes, skill, and sheer time that goes into this, well, quite frankly, it's outstanding. And so today, we're going to raise a glass to those Easter egg hunters. With this in mind, I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most insanely elaborate video game Easter eggs. Number 10. A real-life treasure hunt, which won't end until 2113. Trials Evolution Though the Trials franchise is best known for its controller-smashing, physics-based difficulty, who could have possibly expected that the most challenging task would actually be sending players on a real-life fetch quest? When Trials Evolution was released in 2012, fans knew to keep their eyes and ears peeled for Easter eggs all over the place because these were abundant in the prior game Trials HD, but nothing prepared them for the rabbit hole that they'd fall down trying to figure out one of Evolution's biggest secrets. A series of planks located throughout the game spelled out a cipher, which instructed players to perform a specific move on their bike, which then unlocked a hidden song, within which a secret Morse code was embedded. The Morse code led them to a website which revealed a certain series of images and ciphers and an equation, which fans then quickly figured out, but it's here my children, where things get truly wild. The answer to the equation unlocked a series of coordinates in real-world cities – Helsinki, Sydney, Bath, and San Francisco – prompting fans to visit these locations and snoop around. In each of these four locations, including a graveyard in Bath and a literal hole in the ground in San Francisco, a small chest containing a key was discovered along with a plaque. The back of each plaque read, Midday in the year 2113, 1st of Saturday Today in August, one of five keys will open the box underneath the Eiffel Tower. That's right, developer Red Lynx had made arrangements for one of the keys to open a box underneath the Eiffel Tower more than 100 years after the game was first released, whereby all of the key's recipients and anyone who had a hand in developing the game would likely be long dead. That is actually mad. But wait a minute, there's only four keys. I mean, where's the fifth? Well, my friends, that was hidden in the game's sequel, Trials Fusion. I know, my mind has been taken to the absolute cleaners by this, and it's only the first entry. Number 9. A secret dev message hidden for 26 years. Donkey Kong While the vast majority of Easter eggs are uncovered within mere days, weeks, or maybe months after the game in question hits the shelves, this sneaky Donkey Kong Easter egg lay dormant for more than a quarter century before finally being unveiled. And while it's not as impressive as a treasure hunt in Paris, it is still incredibly, incredibly well hidden. In 2008, Landon Dyer, who programmed the original Donkey Kong port for the Atari 400 and 800, made reference to an Easter egg that he'd coded into his port of the game, though given how much time had passed since its 1983 release, he didn't quite remember the particulars of its unlocking. Furthermore, he insisted, he very clearly insisted, that it wasn't worth it. And you know what? Well, it, it definitely wasn't because it's just his initials. And in order to see this amazing piece of, uh, well, three letters, you needed to set a high score of either 37,000, 73,000, or 77,000, then waste your remaining lives and then die by falling. Then you've got to set the game difficulty to four, and then you will see LMD for Landon M. Dyer. Brilliant. Number 8. The Nero Family Side Quest Final Fantasy IX Okay, let's set the record straight. Now, while Final Fantasy VI and VII get a ton of praise, like, you know, rightly so, Final Fantasy IX is criminally overlooked in these discussions. And you know what? It's infuriating. This game was such a departure from the mopey emo drama of VIII, and it just went off the rails with its high fantasy concept. And you know what? That art style, it was so offbeat that it was utterly brilliant. In fact, because so few people seem to recognize this entry's brilliance, it might be why a side quest within this title went undiscovered for 13 years. Thankfully, Garland the Great discovered this strange aside and posted the details to YouTube, and it's pretty odd to say the least. At the start of Disc 4, visit the Tantalus hideout and you'll find Zenero and Benero who have no idea where Marcus and China have gone. If the player repeatedly heads to the final dungeon, Memoria, then completes a major story event and then returns to Tantalus, they'll be constantly greeted by a new member of the Nero family, wondering 
where all of their siblings have gone. Repeat this enough and Zidane will eventually remark on the size of the Nero family, after which a treasure chest will appear in the hideout, which contains a ba 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 a protect ring. Oh, all that for this? Well, at least we know it exists, no matter how convoluted the steps were to complete it. Number 7. Dice LA Camo Battlefield 4 Battlefield 4, despite being a shooter at heart, actually has one of the most devious easter eggs in video game history, and this one is so infamous that it's actually been nicknamed the Illuminati easter egg by the fan who discovered it, YouTuber Jack Frags. Now, to discover this egg, the player must first find the faint skull design on the wall on the Dragon Valley map, which will reveal a Morse code message from the developers. You then need to complete a logic puzzle by pressing various hidden buttons to light a series of torches, which will then unlock a keypad. Now, pressing this keypad will deliver another message and direct the player to visit another map entirely, where standing by a certain rock will play a slowed down audio clip. Now, speed this clip up in an editing program and it reveals a line from the animated series Battlefield Friends, which is little birdie legs. And it's here where it gets complicated, not that it wasn't before, by giving the words little and birdie their numerical values in the alphabet and then multiplying the number strings of each word, stay with me please, you'll end up with a code. This code unlocks the keypad at Dragon Valley. This plays yet another Morse code, seriously there's so much more, instructing players to join a ranked conquest match, visit the watchtower for two minutes, then input a unique code into the keypad there. There, another clip from Battlefield Battlefield friends will play out, and when the game ends, you will then be able to visit your equipment to find the LA Dice camo has been gifted to you. Now, while a cosmetic item might seem like a pretty paltry reward for all of that hassle, this particular camo was previously only available to members of the game's LA development team, so it is one of the coolest looking and one of the rarest ones you can get. Still, it doesn't help put my brain back together. Number 6. The Unsolvable Black Monolith Puzzle Fez. Now, Fez is one of the most critically acclaimed puzzle platformers of the last decade, and rightly so, but there was one mystery right at the very end that has had the dubious honour of never actually being solved correctly by the public. And by this, I mean that it was solved through hard inputs and force, rather than understanding the logic behind the puzzle itself. The black monolith puzzle that held the game's final red cube was so difficult to solve that many thought it was just a rib by designer Phil Fish. Members of the dev team eventually helped players out by confirming that additional button inputs would solve the puzzle, which prompted fans to literally brute force it, spending 18 hours trying out 66,227 different combinations. Finally, with the puzzle solved, the fan base now had a new problem, trying to make sense of why it had unlocked this way. Some fans came up with pretty good explanations, but thanks to Phil Fish leaving the game's industry as he did, we may never know what the true secret to this monolith was. Number 5. Five. Playable Master Hand Super Smash Bros. Melee In 2008, some seven years after the release of Super Smash Bros. Melee, Smashboards member Xord92 discovered that it was possible to air quotes unlock the game's final boss, Master Hand, as a playable character. But it sure ain't easy. To unlock Master Hand, you need to connect a controller to the GameCube's third controller port, then head to the game's character selection screen. The player must then place their cursor over the name field of their character and press A and B at the same time. Keep holding B and let go of A, which will cause a glitch in the name entry field, allowing the player to scroll down to it and press A again. If timed correctly, the combined effect of pressing A with the B button held down will send the player to the stage select screen, where after picking any level, you'll end up playing as Master Hand. Now, technically, this is a glitch, but it's so awesome that it's got to qualify as an Easter egg too, right? If only because there's no other way to play as Master Hand in the game, sadly, and what a moment it was to finally knuckle up as this monstrosity. Number 4. Duck Racing Shenmue 2 Shenmue 2 is a delightfully odd game. Not only because the main story is pure B-movie banter, but also because, get this, it also has a secret mode which allows players to race ducks because of course it does. And as you might expect from such an odd side game, the requirements to unlock it are also bizarre and convoluted. To unlock Duck Racing, you first need to collect one bronze and one silver medal. The bronze medal can be obtained one of several ways, such as giving a 
troubled waitress some money, winning a dice game, or simply just by finding it lying on the ground. The silver medal, though, requires you to use the bronze medal to unlock an arcade, wherein you'll need to defeat two intensely challenging combatants. After doing this, you'll finally unlock duck races. But you know what? You don't have a duck of your own. You need to get one. And in order to do this, you need to try and catch leaves at the nearby temple. Yes, you heard me right. And after catching four leaves in one go, which is, by the way, super, super challenging, you'll be able to catch the duck that also falls out of the tree. What do I look like? A slice of wet bread? Get off me. You're now able to enter the duck into races, and upon winning, you'll finally receive the gold medal, which doesn't do anything at all. <sighs> Sorry, I'm done, moving on. Number 3. The secret debug menus that went undiscovered for over 20 years. Mortal Kombat Though the original three Mortal Kombat games were released in 1992, 93, and 95 respectively, only in 2015 was a secret debug menu hidden within the arcade versions of the game uncovered by fans. The menu, named EJB after Mortal Kombat creator Ed John Boone, could be unlocked for the original game by inputting a 27-button code which alternates between the machine's player player 1 and player 2 block buttons. This menu, which is only accessible on arcade cabinet versions of the games, allows players to run diagnostics on the unit, make small changes to its presentation, view the various character endings, and even edit the high score table. The EJB menu for Mortal Kombat 3 actually goes much further, including a Gallagher minigame and actually allowing players to unlock a playable character called Smoke. The ultimate version of the game, however, even allows you to watch a demo sequence of all of the game's fatalities, animations, Babalities, babalities, and so on. Needless to say, the fact that this went undiscovered for so long probably saved arcade operators more than a few grey hairs over the years. Number 2. The Secret Rebecca Chambers Photo – Resident Evil 2 This easter egg is admittedly more insanely specific than it is particularly elaborate, but it's tough to imagine how anyone without a debilitating case of OCD happened to stumble across it originally. In the original version of Resident Evil 2, players who search Albert Wesker's desk in the STARS office 50 times will be rewarded with a picture of the series's plucky medic Rebecca Chambers kitted out in a cutesy basketball outfit. Quite how anyone figured this out for themselves is beyond comprehension, and it is very strange why he's got a picture of her dressed like this in his desk. Let's not deal with that today. He's a bad guy enough already, we don't need to add nonce in onto the list. Actually, we probably do. Yeah, Albert Wesker, nonce, you heard it here. And amusingly, this easter egg reappears in the recent remake, though the method for obtaining the Rebecca photo is a lot less ridiculous, even if the game oddly decides to give her a more suggestive pose this time around. Oh, it's weird again, isn't it? And number one, a phone number that triggers random explosions. Grand Theft Auto 5. Perhaps even more of a baffling mystery than the Rebecca photo is the random phone number in GTA 5 which will trigger equally random explosions. A few years after GTA 5's original release, Twitter user at, and I'm going to butcher this, Carmelandram1 sounded like I was going through slow motion there, but I was just trying to read it out. Discovered that by dialing the number 1999936737767, it will connect you to a contact called Black Telephones, which within two seconds will trigger an explosion in the sky. Oh, and calling this number will also change the size and appearance of your phone for some reason. So, almost four years on from when the Easter egg was first discovered, we still have no clue why Rockstar decided to include it, or how the hell somebody found out about this in the first place. Fans have speculated that it may have been originally part of some planned DLC or might have related to the game's infamous Mount Chiliad mystery, but all these years later, we are still none the wiser. And then we go, those were the 10 most insanely elaborate video game easter eggs. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below, as well as any other ones that you would have added to this list, because who knows, I might go and do a comment edition further down the line. But before you go, and hopefully go off and have a fantastic day, whatever you are getting up to, I just want to say one thing from me to you, my friend. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are treating yourself fairly and as kindly as you possibly can. But why don't you do yourself a favor by just taking a step back, realizing what you can and can't control, and figuring out where your energy is best spent. Don't drive yourself crazy by throwing yourself and energy at things that you have no actual impact over. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. And you know what? If you want to do me a little bit of an extra favor, why not check out my board game channel that I've got here on YouTube called Live and Let's Dice. It'd be fantastic to see you over there at some point in time. 
As always, you have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon.